Hi Warriors and welcome back to another video. Today again another weekend vlog because last week's weekend vlog was very popular so if you like that vlog then you might also like this one. I'm doing a few things that I think are quite cool like making kombucha and visiting my sister and doing some handstands and reading. I'm doing some laundry so um, yeah, anyway, if you want to see what I get up to this weekend, then keep watching. So on Saturday, what did I do? First off, as usual, I've been reading. I've been reading so much over the weekends and even in the evenings, just on regular weekdays. It's mad, I'm loving it so much, and I'm getting through a lot of books. I will definitely be finishing this, this weekend. Um, I have definitely enjoyed it, but The Testaments is not quite as good as the prequel. I think The Handmaid's Tale is really interesting and very different from what I usually read. It's a bit of a science fiction set in the future, so that's quite cool. And yeah, especially the first one is one that I would definitely recommend if you like science fiction or if you're just looking for something a little bit different. In addition to reading, I also finally made up my mind about the job that I'm accepting. And I decided I will be taking a job at Priory as a sort of support worker for the children there. They'll be aged between 13 and 21 years old and have sort of a variety of mental health difficulties, such as um, they might be struggling from eating disorders, self-harm, personality disorders, anything like that. So I think that'll be a very rewarding role. Hours are between 7.30 in the morning and 10.30 in the evening. Um, I was also interested in a similar role in Gloucester with slightly different hours and another role within Priory with a um, slightly different description, a therapy um, care system. But I went for this one in the end. Um, not quite sure why because they were all really really good but I finally made my decision. I can finally go to bed and sleep rather than think about jobs so that is definitely a step in the right direction. In addition to all of this jazz I made kombucha and I'm ready to share with you the secret of kombucha making if you're interested in making it yourself. Three things that you three things that you'll need are sugar, a scoby, which you can get on Amazon. And you'll need some black tea. You can also use green tea. I personally haven't done that yet, but um, I've heard that black tea is the easiest one to start out with, so that's what I'm doing. For anyone that's wondering, SCOBY stands for Symbiotic Culture of Bacteria and Yeast. It's formed after the completion of a unique fermentation process of lactic acid bacteria acetic acid bacteria and yeast to form several sour foods and beverages such as kombucha or also kimchi. Anyway, for my kombucha, which is about two liters, I used four black tea bags, which I left in there for about five minutes. Usually I leave it for 30 minutes and um, the longer you leave it in there, the more nutrients and food your scoby will have. But I wanted to make one with less caffeine, so I'm just experimenting with it a little bit and I'll let you know if it works out. Anyway, then I added a hundred grams of sugar and then allowed it to cool down because I didn't want to put my poor little scoby in there to burn. Once it was cooled down, I added about 200, 250 milliliters of my past um, batch of kombucha because it really does need that acidity. If you never made kombucha, you can use a store-bought kombucha or you can add another acid such as a vinegar. Then I added my scobies, and because I've made several batches, it started having little babies, so I put them all in, and it was a little bit um, grim to put them in, but they now have their sugar, which they're going to eat in order to then poop out little bubbles and turn into kombucha. It's going to be delicious. I'm leaving it uh, with a little cloth on the top for about a week, maybe two weeks, and I will be tasting it after a week to see if it's done. It's done when it's no longer very sweet and start to become a little bit more acidy. The longer you leave it, the more acidy it gets and the, more and the more sugar is consumed by the actual scobies. 
Once that is done, I'll be adding different fruits and leaving it in the bottle so that that can all infuse and just having it throughout the week or whenever. And um, yeah, if you're looking for something fun to do during COVID-19 self-isolation, which is not making banana bread, then try it out yourself. Except for that, my day was pretty boring. I pretty much did a lot of social media marketing and I'm trying to get my Instagram following to 5,000. So if you're not following yet on Instagram, definitely, this is a call to action, do it now because I'm almost there and it's super exciting. I'm also nearing a new milestone on YouTube. So if you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed, also be sure to do that. Anyway, in the evening, we left to bath to finally pick up some of my stuff. I've now got some clothes, I've now got my tripod. It's amazing. I got to see my sister. We went for a little walk, obviously keeping our social distance and then went to the shops, went around everywhere and I didn't want to take my camera around because I want to sort of minimize contact with electronics when I'm out of the house because I don't want to spread any germs, especially because I'm touching my camera literally every single day. Anyway, what am I planning to do today? I'm planning to do laundry, handstands, and maybe make some nice food. Really same old, same old. I'm actually quite enjoying my routine right now because I finished all of my coursework on Friday. I've got my job set up for me and this weekend I am trying to really take a little step back and relax. I hope you're able to do the same thing, recharge your batteries over the weekend. It's so important. As usual, I've been having Weetabix for breakfast. I've been having this every single day with yogurt and fruit and nuts and seeds and nut butter and... You know what? I want to mix up my usual breakfast, but rather than go all out and make scramble and toast and whatnot, I want to try out different Weetabix breakfasts. Different Weetabix breakfast. Different Weetabix... Different... Different... I want to try out different Weetabix breakfasts. So if you have any suggestions, uh, whether you put it in the microwave or freeze it or add weird toppings, let me know. And I want to try them out. Is it ice cream? Nope. It's just barley and then some leftover lettuce from a charity distribution that didn't quite make it to the people. Um, I made a little dressing with tahini and apple cider vinegar and it was bomb.
So I just put some more laundry on, as you can probably hear. But I did some handstands. They didn't go that well, but I stuck with it. I practiced and then I did one that I was somewhat proud of, but by that point my camera battery had died. I then had a shower with my shampoo bar, of course, save the environment. I found that using that, I really do use a lot less than I would normal shampoo, which is just so easy to squeeze lots of. And also it's just not packaged in plastic. The one that I have is from Lush. Surprisingly, I'm not allergic to it as I am with a lot of their other products, but yeah, I highly recommend it. Also for traveling. Now onto my second batch laundry. I'm gonna do loads of reading. I just got a few more questions sent to me as well for the Patreon exclusive that's coming up. So if you have any of your own questions, do send them in. I'll be answering loads of the things that have come in thus far. And yeah, as I said last week, for even just $1, you can get loads of exclusive content, including this video series. Get your answers question. Get your questions answered. My phone lights up, but it's never you I can't help but feel so lonely and all this thing I said I was gonna read loads, but instead I finished off all that laundry and we went and dropped off some food to uh, Tom's mum's place after we did some groceries yesterday. Um, it's now 5.30. I'll probably be reading until dinner time, then we'll cook and maybe watch some Lost and that'll be it for my weekend. Anyway, um, I'll say this now in case I don't really do a proper outro later. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you check out my Patreon exclusive that's coming up and send in all of your questions. Also, as I said before, be sure to subscribe, to like this video, also be sure to follow me on Instagram and on all my other socials and see you again very shortly. Bye.